Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Welcome to Crochet Podcast, Season 8, Episode 1. much for inviting me over. I am super excited to share my new podcast with you and start the new season. Today I'm going to share with you my finished objects, what is on my hook, yarn of the week, and I'm going to be keeping all my bloopers, which of course <laughs> there's probably going to be a lot towards the end of the video. So make sure if you want to see a little behind the scenes, watch all the way to the end. Now, let's get started. You might have noticed some changes around the Secret Yarnery and on our social media. There is a lot going on. I'll be sharing a little bit about that with you later on also. And before we get started, I wanna say a big thank you to Kim Yearin. Thank you, Kim. Kim is a family member of the channel and almost, I think, the very first channel member. She jumped right on in the very beginning, which is a couple years ago. So I do feel like I know Kim a lot, like I do a lot of you who have been watching the channel for a long time. A couple things to know about Kim. She is a sweater poncho whiz. She is very fast at wearables and a little slow on blankets. She is also a fabulous Mima, which is grandma. She has some amazing grandkids and is a total sports fan. So hi Kim and thank you so much for helping me make more videos. And if you'd like a shout out, consider buying me a coffee. Now, finished object. So my finished object is the glorious, fabulous crochet mesh top. I made it for a beach cover up, but it is so practical and fabulous and versatile. You can use it any season at all, even like any time of year. It just adds that little bit of sparkle. Even for Christmas, it could be like a snowflake. Like it is so cute. So I used bamboo light. I'm showing you the wrong way around. Cotton bamboo light from Ice Yarns to make it. And it is super fast and easy. I used treble crochet and double crochet. So most of it is treble crochet, which goes very, very quickly. So each row adds like an inch and a half. So we made two panels and then on the last row at the top, we did a continuous join as you go, or just join as you go, I suppose like that. So it is super cute, easy to do, nothing fancy, but looks spectacular. And you can wear it three different ways. So if you saw my Everything I Crocheted in Summer, I showed you this there as well, but in case you didn't, I'm going to show you again because that's how fabulous it is. So here it is the one way. Let me hop back get myself situated. There we go. So here is the one way you can wear it just like a regular cover up or a regular poncho. It does cover the tushy. So you don't have to worry about anything hanging out that you don't want hanging out. And it is super light and airy. And you can see those rows of double crochet and the rows of treble. They just sort of add a little bit of what do you call it? Intrigue or excitement or specialness to an otherwise same, same pattern. But it is still a one row repeat. You just do double crochets or treble crochets depending on the height you want for those glorious stitches. That's great, right? So this is the first way to wear it just like a regular poncho. A regular poncho. The second way is sideways. You just wear it sideways. So you put the seam down the front and look at that. It's cute little sleeves for any occasion. And you can dress up any sundress 
cover your shoulders, get a little modest going on if, you, if your sundress is cut a little low or you're going to your in-law's house, just pop this on and suddenly you're super appropriate. Now the third way, super, super cute. Are you ready? <laughs> Look at that! Hmm? So, cute little belt feature. You can put it anywhere you like. I like mine a little higher up so I can still eat my pastries. But, how cute is that? And it still covers your bum covers your hips, covers your any lumpy, bumpy bits, and you look super cute, like really sweet. It would also be great in like a sparkle yarn over a black dress. I mean, you could wear this a lot of different ways. So this is my crochet mesh top, super versatile and super fun, super easy to do, one row repeat. So even if you're a beginner, this would be a great garment for you to start with. So what is your favorite way to wear the beached granny crochet mesh top? Do you like it just casual? Do you like it sideways for sleeves or do you like it to glam up an outfit? Let me know in the comments. Now a finished object would not be complete without a table of fails. So table of fails, my first version, I was using this gorgeous yarn. It is a DK weight, same pattern, but a DK weight. I thought it's perfect. This is called Pure Cotton or Baby Cotton 100G, depending on the year that you bought it from Ice Yarns. I absolutely love it. It's in a nice, gorgeous, sparkling white. So I did my first panel. So cute. Love it. It's perfect. Go to start my second panel. It's still perfect. Keep working on it. Keep working on it. Wake up in the morning. And are you ready? Are you ready for disappointment to set in? <laughs> Boom. Now you might not be able to see it, which would make me happy because I didn't see it either. But if you are looking right here, the top is off-white and the bottom is white. Yep. So I'm like the third ball in. Let me, I'll fold it up a bit so you can see. Can you see it now? Hmm? This is white. This is not white. Can you see the disappointment on my face? I was gutted. I was like, oh my gosh. And like, look how far I'm done, by the way. I'm done. I'm done my second panel before I realized the yarn I thought was white is literally off white and I have no more white. No white, I mean in pure cotton 100G or baby cotton 100G, I don't have any white. All I have is the off-white and I really didn't want an off-white beached granny crochet mesh top, I wanted white. So I moved on to cotton bamboo light, which I think looking back was the right choice. It's a worsted weight yarn, so bigger hook, bigger stitches, less stitches, just bigger, better, faster, but I did take it from what I was saving for finishing my Northern Diamond Cal blanket, which if you remember that, I'm gonna say it was at least five years ago, probably six or seven. So I could probably also just order more cotton bamboo in white. I mean, it's a pretty stable, stable 
stay pull color, they're probably gonna have it. So just suck it up and make that gorgeous beach cover up or crochet mesh top. So that's what I did, and that's what I have. So I don't know, what should I do with this now? I have one panel in white, or one and a half panels in white, finished in cream. So I could repo the yarn back, or I could just finish it and have it for like, you know, laundry day or something. What would you do? Take the yarn back or kind of just leave it as a fun top to wear whichever way. Maybe you could keep it like as a drunk test. Like if you went to a party and be like, if no one notices, it's like everybody's drunk. <laughs> Be like, did you notice that it's the wrong color? Or like if you wore it to like Sunday school or something and everybody noticed, you're like, okay, good. Nobody's drunk. So you could like, it could be a drunk test either way, but what, or you could just frog it back and get the yarn. So let me know what you think I should do with it. It's done. Like literally, I just have to join it together. Anyway. Not looking at that right now. Landed it on the sofa, that's a miracle right there. So that is my finished object and I do love it. I love how it feels. It feels so nice when you wear it. And yes, that's already right-handed and left-handed written patterns on my channel and no, right and left-handed tutorials on my channel and a written pattern on my website, secretyarnery.com. It is a super detailed pattern, so go ahead and grab it if you like to collect patterns and have a paper reference on hand or even digital. And now my favorite part, well, one of them. How do you have a favorite part? If you have a favorite part, let me know. A new part that I love, we can say that, right, is yarn of the week. Yarn of the week this week is Saver. Now we all know I love Saver. If you don't know I love Saver, then welcome to my channel. I love Saver. Not Super Saver. It is a completely different, don't compare it. I really wish they called it something else, but on Ice Yarns they call it Saver. I don't know why. It is 100% Draylon. Okay, one for you, one for me. You can look at that gorgeous one. So it is 200 grams per skein. Also center pull, if you're a center, center pull girl like me. So center pull, 200 grams, 100% Draylon acrylic, 330 meters, and it is a size four worsted weight yarn. They suggest a five millimeter knitting needle, but I use anywhere from a six millimeter to a seven millimeter crochet hook, depending on the drape I want for my project. So I definitely love this yarn. It is my go-to. The only problem I have with Saver is the colors that they have. Often it is a limited palette that they don't have all the colors all the time. So that part kind of sucks. I wish they had more colors more often, but it is what it is. It's still my favorite go-to yarn. And if you have any questions about Saver, let me know in the comments or what you'd like to know, information you'd like to know about Yarn of the Week so I can include it in an upcoming segment. And this yarn brings me to Works in Progress. Works in Progress with this yarn plus white. Are you ready? Shut your eyes. Now I have not sewn in my hands, it is not done, it's a work in progress, but ba 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 rectangular granny square blanket. Cute, right? Maybe I can hold it this way. And I can stand back. <laughs> I guess it's big enough, right? I was humming and hawing. Is it big enough? Should I do three more rounds? So I'm doing four rounds of three different colors. So a 12 row repeat of the same stitch. So it's just a granny stitch. Super great to do watching TV or when you just want to like de-stress. So that is what I've been working on. I do have a stitch marker <laughs> for once in my life, which is good because the yarn is way over there across my room. Yep. So this is my work in progress. Keep your eye out for a tutorial and written pattern. 
So speaking of tutorials, what tutorials would you like this fall or for the winter season? Let me know in the comments if you have any ideas or suggestions. Another whip I am working on also in Saver, but I'm cheating and also using Favorite. Don't tell anybody. If I had all the colors in Saver, I would just be using Saver. But I don't, so I'm mixing them. Now I don't have much to show for it. <laughs> Let's see. Can you guess what that's going to be? Other than just gorgeous. Check out those colors. Isn't that so pretty? So that is as far as I have gotten. But I'm going to be loving on it. It is going to be a gorgeous flower granny square necked poncho. <laughs> what? Yes! With these sweet, adorable, sweet crochet flowers. So that is going to be the neckline. And then this nice minky, I want to call it mink, but maybe it's beige, uh, neutral yarn for the rest of the granny poncho. So a little bit of detail up here. We're going to do a cute little neck on the other side. Hmm? That is going to be a poncho. Are you loving the colors? I'm in love. So my friend Litza, Litza was over and we picked these colors together. Both of us thought we needed like a brighter kind of more fun turquoise or a crispier turquoise or like an offy bluey kind of color. But after doing this, I'm like, absolutely not. This is everything. So this is going to be, well, it is the crochet along coming up for family members that is coming up on Monday. So just starting it together, can't wait. I'm working out a continuous join as you go for around the neck so you don't have to join each of these individually and sew in all those tails. So that is coming up for family members. And of course you are welcome to join us for that. You just click the join button and select family and that will get you right in on the cal and all the other perks. But if membership isn't your thing, don't worry. All of my tutorials are complete and in full. I don't go halfway and then tell you to buy my pattern. I walk you through it step by step. So don't worry, that will be available to you sometime in the future. So just keep waiting for it. And now news of the week. Have you seen it? The new logo. I'm so happy. I'm so inspired. So there is a logo for like me, Secret Yarnery. And then there's also a logo for Secret Yarnery, but the crochet community. That is us. So there's me and then there's us. What? Isn't that like the coolest thing? I'm so inspired. So that is a really fun thing. So I've been really quite busy trying to you know, update all the artwork and all the stuff on all the platforms, which I need to be doing, but I'm busy crocheting. So eventually we will be looking the same everywhere, but keep your eye out for either of those and just know that that's us. Right? Right. Now, finished object. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's my mesh top. Oh, I love my mesh top. Okay, so finished object. <laughs> Put all that for bloopers. So finished object is cro my, cro no, hold on. Let me get it at least. Are you ready? <laughs> okay. So what is your favorite way to wear the, so what's your favorite way, to, so what is your favorite way to make table of fails, where are you at? Can't be that far. Oh, right there. Right in front of my face. So I sucked up my disappointment and moved on. Oops, that is my battery pack dead. So I could probably also just order more cotton bamboo in white. I mean, it's a pretty staple, stable, staple color. Oh, now where's my saver? Saver. Yeah, babe. Nope, I'm filming a video, so I didn't see, I didn't hear it either. So I definitely love this yarn. Oh, I should keep showing. Now, what else can I say? 
No, I should have done this with my kiss. I should. Okay, fine. I can't wait to share tomorrow's tutorial with you. So don't, I can't wait to show, to show tomorrow's tutorial on any of the awesome content and awesome if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, go ahead and hit that button under this video right now and also the bell beside that so you don't miss out. Okay, cute. That's as good as it's gonna get today. I can't wait to share tomorrow's video with you, so keep an eye out for it. If you haven't subscribed already, please do and also hit that bell so you don't miss out on any of the fun videos that are coming up. Have a super great day. I'm waiting for you right there. Stay hooked.